لو كنت غامضة عيني وتاخذني لأحلام من إيديا ونعلى ونحلق في السماء جديدة وننسى الوجع to the channel i'm so glad i'm so happy to be here to be vlogging and this is episode one of um what's it called again my ramadan vlog <laughs> so very last minute you know how i am very last minute i decided that i wanted to do a ramadan vlog now this is because as we all know i recently got back on youtube yeah <laughs> but yeah i recently got back on youtube like i practically just go back on youtube like a few days ago and i've actually just decided that this is something i've wanted to do for the longest time but i just thought it would take so much from me but guess what you want to get so much you have to give so much so i've decided that i'm just going to like go for it and actually do youtube the way that i know that might work so this is like a testing phase for like six months to actually go for it and do it the way I think that might work for me might, will be very valuable, would be beneficial to me in my personal life. Last vlog that you guys saw, which is my last vlog, is actually um the house moving vlog, which is back to like six months ago. So I didn't want to like just keep you guys watching only backdated videos. So I thought it's Ramadan anyways. I cannot I, I cannot and do not have the capacity to do um a daily Ramadan vlog, but I thought why not show random days that I have specifically curated for the vlog. Not curated in the sense that um I'm doing things for the vlog, but like days that i pack in the activities that i want to do in that day so that i can now vlog that day or there'll be activities or things that i was going to do anyways but like if they were on random days just like smush them together and bring them into one vlog that's a very long intro than i planned so i turned off the light and i think it's much better being that muslim girl what that means to me is basically prioritizing my day making time for my kids because I'm now a mom of two, as we all know, and I need to really get into this mom role, right? And prioritize my work, which is why I'm being consistent on here. Um, do my skincare, like take care of my body, that is an amana. Embrace more slow days. I have my iPad here. Embrace more slow days, so that's what I'm looking at. Um, I want to do less chats, generally. I already do less chats, like I don't even chat that much, but I want to do even lesser chats and more beneficial din and career related conversations because i really really want my videos to not just be for entertainment or to see somebody familiar but to also like have value even in like the everyday life so it's not just about oh i got this it's nice for you it would work for you but it's also about this is something i've encountered today or i encountered in my life i think this might be a valuable lesson for you doesn't have to be any grand thing but i i think i just need to like give that value because this really fulfills me and i want to bring it out but if i for brushing you don't need it my bad just move up from youtube when she remember the series they are all sleeping so let me to sleeping, Abby. I shall join her. Low
You will never understand why you're here if you don't know the one who brought you here. You will never understand why you were blessed with this if you don't know what it means to be a blessing yourself. You will never understand why you're in pain if you don't believe in the virtue of patience. You will never make sense of this life if you don't believe in an afterlife. You will never know who you are if you don't know who you want to become. You will never know where you are going if you don't know where you came from. We live in a world full of suffering meant to wake us from our slumber. But if we constantly dwell on what we feel like missed us, we may be missing out on something far greater, a greater sense of purpose, a greater sense of self-worth, a life with less questions and more answers, a life with more certainty and less confusion, a life of meaning where we learn to live in harmony with divine decree and in pursuit of the pleasure of our Lord who created us and our stories so that we could come to know Him and the best version of ourselves. You may have asked before, why me? But have you ever asked, why not me? Our lives are filled with moments that define us. Moments of pure joy that create memories for years to come. And also moments of hardship that eat away at our thoughts, our relationships, sometimes even our faith. It can be hard to sit with the cards we're dealt with. Is my life entirely my own if it's already been written for me? Why do some people struggle with immense pain while I'm given this blessing? Or why am I struggling with this hardship while others seem to have it so easy? Why is this happening? Why now? Why me? It doesn't start with your parents or your grandparents or even your ancestors. It actually all starts with a pen. But 10 million years later, I finally finished cleaning. I think I'm just going to hold my thing. So 10 million years later, I finally finished cleaning. The only thing I did not do is wash the dishes because I don't have time to get into that. Probably do it some other time. But let me show you my outfit quickly in the mirror. Doing an all green moment. Um, this is my abaya. This abaya is so beautiful. I remember I wore it on my 28th birthday. Yeah, when I got it in London. Um, I wore this abaya if you remember from the vlog. And I'm wearing this hijab. It's not chiffon. It's not jersey. I think it's a crepe hijab. I really like, like it and it's very big. It's from a brand called Samia's Treasures on Instagram. She also sent me what I was wearing earlier in the vlog, which is the two-piece set. She actually sent me that last year. I've had that since last year. I really love it. And I just bring it out whenever I want to wear it. But look at the flow of the hijab. Per inches. Inches. <laughs> uh, I've just worn my Adidas sandbags because I don't know what to wear. And I've, I have those trousers on from, from H&M. I just put it on for coverage. And that is the look. I'm actually trying to... Let me show you. So my, 
I would love to wear this outfit without a blazer, sorry, without a coat, but I have to because it's cold. So I just want to keep it tonal. I don't want to think, I just want to wear the same color. So this one here from MS is what I'm thinking I should wear. I don't know how it's going to look, but let's try it. I need, to, I need to figure out my hijab situation first. Um, I'm going to have to go with this outfit like this because I cannot... Yeah, it's not bad, so I'm just gonna go this way. My bag is from Naked. I'm going to actually try to link my outfit below and a similar abaya to this one because it's quite simple. But yeah, I'm going out. Guys, when I said I was cleaning the other time, I was just supposed to do a little bit of cleaning, but then I ended up cleaning everything. Like, you know when you clean and you clean like the sockets and you clean this, the What's it called again? This kitchen board, you know, that is real cleaning. But I now switched up my living area. No, my my other living area, the one in the lounge. Let me show you what it looks like. My voice feels like it's echoey because of this hijab fabric. But let me show you what it looks like. So, the TV used to be here. If you remember from this morning, I was sat here. But now, I put the sofa there. That sofa is stinking dirty. I always have like a sofa cover, same color, but it's in the wash right now. I'll show you when I get back. I got it from Donnell and it's stunning. This um thing here, this painting, oh, canvas. I actually got it from a charity shop. Like maybe they were like five pounds, like six months ago. And I never put it up, but I finally put it up today. And it kind of looks nice. I love the vibe so well. Everything is still there the way it is. And I've just got some PR that I wanna open with you guys when we get back, but it's a vibe. Look, everywhere is so clean, minus the dishes that I didn't do. My sister is calling me. Oh boy. Uh, so right now we're heading out to Donelm. So I wanna get a few things. I wanna get curtains for our living room. We still don't have curtains. So I wanna get curtains there. I want to go to Jisk and where, I don't know if it's Jisk or Jisik. I don't know how to pronounce the brand, but it's kind of like a, a Jeep for Ikea. I wouldn't call them a Jeep, but they're like Ikea basically. Then I also wanna go to, I don't know, but let's go shopping. <laughs> My darlings, I'm now in Jisk or Jisik, whatever it's called, to pick up our shower curtain because the one we have is stinking dirty because like the it's very long, right? But that's because like the ceiling is tall. But, like the lower part, it gets like all the grime and all the stuff. So this is where I got it. Really nice. They have really lovely shower curtains, really long. Even general curtains, they have like really long ones that are just kiss. So this is the one we currently have. Let me show you closely. This is the one we currently have. It's really tall and this is it here. It's 180 by 230. Right? I don't know if I should take another one that is 180 by 230. Should I get a shorter one? I'm tempted to get a shorter one because I'm thinking what if um just to have something shorter. But like 30 is kind of a lot. I think I'm just going to get what I came here for. But look at this one. Oh, this one is nice. It's kind of short. Yeah, this is 180 by 200. It's really short. Yeah, I didn't get 200. Don't kill me. Um, here, let me just get... I you know, get the regular ones that we have. That's just really nice. Low kunting ram thai nayao tahni lahlam mini daya nala un halak fi smajti da un insalu jaya. Mm-hmm.
So, this is actually really nice for like oranges and stuff. <laughs> so, we secured the cotton pole, but it's really long, so it's gone like all the way to the boots. <laughs> but look at me, do I not look like this would be a lot better? <laughs> that, that carry what uh, kilomark people? Allah Baru, bless you. <laughs> yeah. I'll be surprised if any of your followers know who uh -uh. Allah Baru is. Well, okay, Why would they Nigeria know? Yeah, they'll know who Allah Baru is now. Per. <laughs> that is it for the shopping today. My hand is aching, so we'll do a haul when I get home. So, guys, I was watching um, Imam Omar Suleiman's. He, he posted one Insta story. I'm going to post it after this so that you guys can see but basically he said and you can do this as well he said that um he challenges he challenges us basically to ask people that are close to us people in your family to name one character flaw that you have in my end in tears so i want to do it so i'm going to ask my mom and my sisters i'm going to ask everybody basically so i want to kind of see if i'm going to have like similar one or the exact same thing from multiple people Let's go. Mommy, <laughs> first to go. <laughs> Mommy, I saw me. <laughs> I, I, oh yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw. Very defensive. <laughs> first camera. First <laughs> camera. Well, I more accept. More guarantee. Tiba, tiba, pray that we do. We must not get more defensive. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Oh Mood swings, only coin, coin, only Jamila, defensive. I agree. That one, 100. Mood swings, 100. I agree. So, Hanifa is asking me of her own character flaw. All of us, we know it's her, is that she's non confrontational. And ah, I tell her slowly, slowly, yeah, people please her. Eh, not in the sense like, as guys got to like, she doesn't like to confront people. If you say something like, oh yeah, whatever I say, <laughs> yeah, whatever I say, that's it's like she doesn't want to stress. So, yes, non confrontational. This is nice. Oh, Konina is on Tilti Bashi, Tilti Mommy. Tilti Mommy, you pack. So, um, it's one, but you can say as much as you like a character flow. <laughs> My major character flow. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> is it love? I think that I that is a character for like woman she woman she basically. The fact that you like us to be perfect example. Is, ah, is it a character flaw? I think Mommy, it's a character it? flaw actually. Naya, yeah. can you tell me one thing? Come come and step beside daddy. Oh my son, they were really <laughs> So why did she say? Because it's not defensive. You, you also abuse me. You also use your pussy to abuse me and oh, call me what? Mommy, mommy. <laughs> say it. You have to use to say. No, it's. Mommy, I want to. I want to say what you want to say. I don't want to say. Let's go. Move back. Move back. Move back. 
You are defensive. Oh, okay, I said that. That's not. Can you tell me one thing you don't like about mommy? <laughs> Nothing. What don't you like about me? Eva. I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> so I'm the best mommy ever. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Uh, Oh, thank you. Yeah. Where is your mom looking at me? My camera almost. Hey, sure. Do you know what to do? No, go away by feast. Oh, who did I keep in? Hi, Papa. Say, how are you, Papa? Look at your, look at your clothes. Ah. Uh. Hey, Papa. Hi, Papa. Yes. Yes. Night eating. That crew. <laughs> Um, Tarawi is 8.30 so we'll probably leave the house like 8, um, 20, 25 ish but so I don't want to put him down because when I go for Tarawi he's going to be with my mom but if I put him down he's going to wake up quicker so I just have to like delay putting him down till I'm ready to leave also I'm actually tired but I'm still gonna go for Tarawi I only miss the first day of Ramadan. Other than that, I'm praying every day and I love it. Anywho, you guys, if TK Maxx has one, if TK Maxx has one customer, one fan, I'm the one. They have 10, I'm one of them. If they have 1 million, I'm one of them. If they have nobody, I'm dead. Because every single time I go to TK Maxx, I just, I, I just always go home feeling bad about what I did not buy like I would go home content but I would always feel bad because there's always something that I really want that I need and I, and I need to be like okay you need to rein it in this is doing too much but here is what I got let's do a haul of this wait why is this thing spinning oh I think it's just because of the side I was like does he have a lazy Suzanne anywho Let's get into this haul. I did, I got one, two, three, four, five. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, actually, nine things. Something, something is missing here. I can't remember. Oh yeah, I know what is missing. Oh yeah, you don't need to see that. But let's go through this haul. The first thing I picked up is this candle. This is. I need to bring you closer first thing i picked up is this candle and i just love it because it looks like a can that is the design of it for it to look like like drink like a drink it's so pretty it's so colorful and i don't know but in one of my vlogs that you guys are currently that one of the vlogs you guys are going to watch you're going to see where i talked about um adding colors to the house because the house is like a bland so um, and I'm really feeling like bright colors, so I'm just gonna put that to like make character, show character. So this one says if you discuss lemonade and it smells really really good. But look at the design gets me. I can't lie. It just gets me. And you just open it up like this. It smells really nice. So I got this for our living room coffee table. My sister is currently molding it, building it for me. But I'm like, if I leave this and somebody else buy buys it and I go back and I don't find it, I'm going to be so pissed. So I picked it up. And also, I'm not going to be burning that candle even though it smells nice because I just really like it. Or maybe I might actually burn it. And um, since this is still going to remain here, I'll just use this for, I can repurpose this. I think that's what I love about it. I can repurpose this and just like move on with my life, right? The next candle, I picked up two candles. This other candle is for the kitchen. 
for I mainly picked up for the aesthetics and color, so you can see. So I picked up this strawberry one. It's so cute. I've opened it before, that's so why it looks like that. But I went to cover it. It closes completely like this. Oh boy. I have this boy on my back. I'm trying to be gentle. Anywho, I don't have to close it. <laughs> but it closes completely and it's just so pretty. This was how much? I think this was, yeah, this was £15, £14.99. That one was £10.99. Is this £10.99? Yeah, this one was £10.99. £10.99. Um, £14.99. But I really love the design of it. I'm going to show you what I want to do with it. So I want to have like something on the island here because flowers and yeah, just thought do that. Then for the candles, I got this one. I got the matches. Even though... I would probably use the lighter. I'm never probably going to use this. But if I wanted to, I could use it. And I love a good aesthetic lighter. This one says you're a bit weird. I love it. I saw one that was so pretty. It was blue. And I'm like, would I be doing too much if I got the blue? So I asked that to like pick one from, <laughs> from the two. This one and the blue one. And he picked this one. So I went with this one. The next thing I got was this really cute bowl. I know I showed you guys some cute bowls when I was in JISC, but I saw so many. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, TK Maxx is just lit everywhere. If you go to the vase section, if you go to the kitchen section, it's just lit everywhere. But like, I, I got, I picked like three different bowls that I had to drop and some like serving stuff. I dropped them because I, I was like, I need to plan what I want to do with them per I'm hosting before I get them like. I just don't want to bother myself because I, I was rushing to finish him. But this is the bowl. I got this for dates. This was three nine nine four pounds, and and that's why I love TK Maxx because you're gonna get really good stuff, and you're gonna get at a good price. It might not be cheap all the time, but it, it would be really good. This is it. I just love the trims. Look at it. Is oh, is this focusing? I actually don't know. Yeah. Can you see how beautiful it is? It's small and it's just perfect. Where did I get it for dates? So I currently have this one on here where I just put all the dates that we're eating. So when we break our fast, we, we can use it. But I'm like, I want something that's just a bit cuter that I could pop in the tray. So I got this one and I didn't want everything to be like bright color. So I wanted to mix and match my regular neutrals, but mix it with colors that I like. Also, another thing I love about this one is the fact that I can repurpose this when I finish burning the candle and maybe make it like a cookie jar, anything basically. I got this, guys, I'm obsessed with coasters. I feel like I have about four different sets of coasters. And I mean, they're absolute essential in the house, but I really love them. I love how they're like a very small piece, but they really contribute to the decor of your house. I got these ones. Um, none of them is the same size which i really like because there's some cups that are really small and there's some that are like big and just having like different I, I love wood as well if you can't tell like there's wood there i really love wood and i love rich wood that's why i would never get rid of my coffee table even though i tried but this is the coaster that i got it's just so nice full of character i'm obsessed I'm also going to place this on the tray. Then I got this beautiful jug. So it's kind of like, yeah, it's a jug because I even got it from the kitchen section. But I really love, love this shape. And I'm looking for something like this. Perfect. And I, I've not found something like this without the hands like this. So I'm, like, I'm going to get it like that. It's fine. But I, I'm going to use it for flowers. I just thought this is really cute. And finally, I got this stunning um, tray. This tray cost £23. I would not buy a tray of that price, knowing that I could get it cheaper anywhere else. But if, 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 I, if it's TK Maxx, it's TK Maxx. Because I love the quality of this tray. And this, I don't know, is it called Acacia? I don't know if I'm saying it right. But their collection in TK Maxx, every single thing that they bring to TK Maxx, I'm obsessed with like it's my first time buying stuff that they make it's so good 
So I picked this up for the island because I feel like the island is currently bare. I used to just have flowers in there, but like I, I don't like having things cut out so that everything has a house. So I could put the uh, let me do this setup and show you the vision. <laughs> So the final thing I got, let me put this aside. Yeah, you can come in. Oh, okay. Final thing I got is this bag. I actually got this for my cameras, my tripod and stuff. Like the small candy ones. I got it because I got it from TK Maxx. It was £13. I got it because when I'm in the house, not even from when I'm going out, but like when I'm in the house, I'm like having my things scattered about. You guys know when I was going this morning on the sofa. Scattered. So I'm like, let me get this bag. So like have everything in this bag. So when I carry this bag, I'm like, yeah, I've carried my work stuff. <laughs> I can like just go on and edit and do whatever I want. But yeah, that's it. We're going for a, we're going for Thorawi. I almost said if thought. We're going for Thorawi now, guys. So let's go. <laughs> Hi guys, we are on our way to the mosque. We're almost there. This is Tarawi Gang, the first Tarawi on the vlog. We are for the vlog. Ah. <laughs> so we've got here, and we just saw that my sister has actually just got here. So we're just waiting for them to get out of their car, and then we're gonna join them. So you wanna see my vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. I should Bro, alaikum guys. We're going for Tarawi. It's so nice to be the embarrassing sister that is vlogging and doing nonsense. But that's the way it is. Well, like, all right, me go in you. Oh, shock him with a key. It's of four. In fact, four. Go, go, you can't run me. I'm really tired today because I worked. 5 a.m. Moshe live video on Instagram. Idiot, I am. What? 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 You know, she had a time and woo me. Five years, I was bloody doing that live video. So, I pay for it. And then I clean, I did every single thing. So now I'm really tired. I think I cannot pray more than eight. Max, ten. I'm pushing it. Maybe four. <laughs> oh, well, I, I'll see you guys in the masjid. <laughs> Abdul, are we going to the to that place? No place. That I want to buy cake. Or we're not going. No. No. Why? I said I'm tired. I didn't say I'm sleeping. But I said before that I want us to go to get cake. Let's go to buy cake. Buy cake so. I don't like that you're now trying to preach for me like you're one better person. I'm you agreed to this. You. I didn't agree to anything. <laughs> Why did I agree? I was oh, well, telling I you that. Been vlogging. You see, I was telling you that, I okay. can't, that if I was going to get into this charity and I'm not interested in it, would mind charity. Yeah, but I, w I said I wanted <laughs> to get cake. Um, you said if I was going to buy charity, you were expected to buy charity or not. So, cake. bottom line was you're going to take me. Going. I was going to bust off. You said you're not going to buy it for me. I said I'll buy my money. Abi. Oh, you didn't say that. I didn't hear you say uh, that. Uh, uh, Abdu. So Laura, I'm going to see cake, bye. Okay, I'm going to see cake. Go see cake. Very good. No, no, only it. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, it is what it is. Men are scorn. Men are scorn. Men have always been scorn. Men have always been scorn. 
is that a, a way of saying you know of this is like asking to go and do <laughs> Men have always been scorned. Men have always stand that, yeah. Even though, even though, oh yeah, take me to this thing. To the place? Yeah. Okay. Hmm, Abdul. I can take, I'll drop you there now. You drop me there, go! <laughs> oh no, I'll stay outside. You stay outside? Why will you stay outside? Is this smelling inside? Why do you want to go and do inside? Next time we pray that I'll go and buy the cake. I'm actually really tired. Yes, this is my big sister Hikma, so I've come Lovely. down from the car just to Mommy, ask her the question, my personality flaw. Mommy. Mommy. Um, sometimes I think that you come across uh, a bit <laughs> um, unwelcoming. Unwelcoming? Yes. yes. Hey! Yes. That's actually me. <laughs> Mommy. Oh, okay, a book. another one. Hi. Um, you take a lot. <laughs> I take a lot. Yes. Just like generally. Like my mobile request. Oh, she's a daddy guard. Shade. Wow, wow. No, it, it, oh, it depends. It could be negative, it could also be positive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fun, so. Can you move first or no? I got another one. My mona, okay, my mona, I'll blow it. I can't really think of anything else up the, up the top of my head. Hmm. Where are you, Buru? Oh, be, women are wicked. Avoid women. I take. Yes, ma'am. I take a lot. Yes. Ah. Anyway. As in, as in, women in, in relation to what you give. In re ah! Ah! In the worst! <laughs> ah! Ah! Anyways, anyways, anyways. Sherry yeah, Rice. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> The thing is, I can't exactly say it is a personality flaw per se. Yeah. Because it depends on who who you do it to. Yeah. Obviously family. Like yeah. and how it is done. Duh, I don't rate so, you. <laughs> so it's it's not necessarily a bad thing really. It doesn't have to be a bad thing to get. Yeah. Because no, it is not it is not about the quantity, it's more about the quality. You can give once, you can give twice. Okay. And take a hundred times. Okay, I have me. That one's at, at this point, when is something that you recover, <laughs> a good, a good personality trait. <laughs> good personality trait. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, when you want to do something for someone, you don't really Mama. think about the cost or. Yeah. Oh, out <laughs> okay. 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 We got one win. <laughs> She has um, she has some kind of panicking OCD. Yes. Mommy. Ah oh, wow, I took my uh 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 uh. A really good peluquiri. <laughs> Anyways, Hikma, your personality flaw is that you are no, duh. you are brutally. Honest. honest. <laughs> I can kill you for it. <laughs> like more, and we were honest, but we were unseasoned honest. <laughs> we were unfiltering oh, honest. Yeah, in fact, more were unfiltering honest. I think more were no empathy honest. <laughs> Positive personality trait is that you are. Um, uh, Oh, honest. Another positive trait. Yeah, actually, yes. Oh, Beautifully hon honest. Like, <laughs> and, 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 and. And. Okay, yes, yes, Mr. Gete. Oh, honest. I think we very non judgmental. On the man, yeah. Non judgmental and. Logical Mommy. in the sense that a man try to you, get all like hey, can jump sick of like oh, this that a man like always look at different sides, get so quick, okay, yeah, which is good in a way, but I still hate you. <laughs> okay.
okay, 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 that was fun. Your good personality. You don't have good personality traits. Good personality traits. Your good personality trait is that you are. You are very, very. Ah, yeah, and some are generous. No, some are generous. Who are generous? Who are thoughtful? Thoughtful, kind. Actually, I'm being mean. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind. <laughs> Can I tell you one thing? Would you like to rest in Coco? Read it, mommy. Ah, you are emotional in a very good way. Yeah. Oh my come to your defense, like ah, Coco, hang your out to dry. Yeah. Actually. Come around, must hear this. Mungba, Mungba. Do I like you? Giving, helping. It's a small thing. Rescue, fighting, fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I think you are yeah. very, very. You are a stand up person. You stand up for others. Per. <laughs> Period. I don't know. I can't do my Period. Ni par. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. Should I? Should I? Yeah. Yeah. That's. This is going to be the end of this vlog. I really do hope you guys enjoyed my first ever or like the first episode of the ramadan vlog 2024 um let me know your thoughts comments whatever anyways guys see you in my next video